Good morning, good afternoon, good evening internet, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Economical Rides. Today's video was inspired by a comment I received on a previous video. It was a comment I received on the video, Two Cool Features. It was a question posed by Glenn, and he wanted to know whether the odometers and the trip meters were available in miles as well as kilometers. At the time I didn't know the answer to this question, but I did some research and discovered that it can actually be done. You can change the units for the trip meters and the odometer. And in this brief video, I will attempt to demonstrate how you can do it yourself. Now I will show you how to change the odometer and trip meter units from kilometers to miles or miles to kilometers. For this trick, all you need to know is where the trip meter toggle switch is, which is on the left handlebar, and you also need to know where your ignition key is. To change the units, you simply keep the trip meter toggle button pressed whilst turning on the ignition, and you keep the toggle switch pressed for about 10 seconds, and then the units should change. I will try to demonstrate. I'm holding the toggle button now and turning on the ignition. And I'm keeping the button held. We're currently showing miles, 495.5. I'm keeping the button pressed. And there we go, it's changed to kilometers. And now I will demonstrate how you change it back. You basically repeat the process. So if I switch the ignition off, hold the toggle switch again, keep it pressed, switch on the ignition, we should hopefully spring from kilometers back to miles. So there you go, 495.5 miles. That's how you change the units on the odometer and the trip meters. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching this video and thanks again to Glenn for his comment which gave me the idea for this video. If you found the video useful or merely entertaining, feel free to like the video. And if you haven't subscribed already and you do have the option to subscribe, I would recommend that you subscribe to the channel because there will be regular content coming. I intend to do at least one video a week, so I would appreciate your subscriptions, and that way you'll always know when there's new content about my Royal Enfield Meteor 350. Thank you once again to everybody who has already subscribed to the channel, and those people who have posted such nice comments, which have really encouraged me to continue with the channel. I would especially like to thank those people who were concerned about my back problems and wishing me well. I can confirm that I am now more or less pain free. I was able to ride at the weekend, but unfortunately I didn't get to make a video, but I hope to do a video of a ride out this coming weekend. So thank you for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.